Now the next question. Solve two p plus three q is equal to eight. Three p plus two q is equal to seven. Four p minus three q is equal to five a <clears throat> minus seventeen. Find a. This is the next question. Okay, so let us solve this question. Firstly, if you see in this, you have you have equation number one, equation number two given. Okay, so if you find p and q value later, you can substitute p and q value in the last given <coughs> equation here, and then you can find out the value of a. Okay. so let us start first solve the equation that is 2p plus 3q is equal to 8 3p plus 2q is equal to 7 if you solve these two equations you will find the next equation okay so let first we'll define what is equation 1 2p plus 3q is equal to 8 B equation one. Then three p plus two q is equal to seven. B equation two. And that last one, four p minus three q is equal to five a minus seventeen. B equation three. This is for our easy understanding. we are giving the numbers for the equation okay now we will consider only first two equation that is equation number 1 so consider equation 1 and 2 and solve simultaneously and solve them simultaneously okay so what is equation 1 <clears throat> equation 1 is going to be 2p plus 3q is equal to 8 and 3p plus 2q is equal to 7 a is equal to 3 very good sindhu okay now say me which number should i multiply here for equation 1 and which should i multiply with equation 2 so i will be able to solve them simultaneously for equation 1 anusha also got the answer good anusha now for which equation uh, sorry for equation 1 which number should i multiply equation 1 with 3 and equation 2 with 2 sorry yeah okay now if you multiply equation 1 with 3 what is the answer that you get you will be getting 2 3s a 6p plus 3 3s a 9q and then 8 3s a 24 okay so this is what we will be getting then 3p plus 2q is equal to 7 into 2 so 3 2s a 6p once again then 2 2s a 4q is equal to 7 2s a 14 okay so this is what is the equations that we get now let us change the sign for this minus minus and minus and in that you can cancel plus 6p and minus 6p so what is remaining with us <coughs> remaining is 5q 5q is equal to 10. Q is equal to 10 by 5. So what do you get? Q is equal to 5 ones are 5 twos are. Q is equal to 2. Now once you get 2, Q is equal to 
substitute this in equation 1 yeah correct p is equal to 1 q is equal to 2 now substituting q is equal to 2 in equation 1 so what is equation 1 2p plus 3q is equal to 8 2p plus 3 into q is 2 is equal to 8 okay then 2p plus 3 to the 6 is equal to 8 2p is equal to 8 minus 6 So two p is equal to how much? Two again, correct? So p is equal to two by two. P is equal to one. Everybody got p is equal to one and q is equal to two. Now, since we have got the value of p and q, let us apply or substitute both the values in equation three to get the value of a. Okay. now substituting p is equal to 1 and q is equal to 2 in equation 3 okay so what is equation 3 4p minus 3q is equal to 5a minus 17 fine so what is the value here 4 into p is 1 3 into q is 2 is equal to 5a minus 17 so 4 ones are 4 3 twos are 6 is equal to 5a minus 17 4 minus 6 is minus 2 Is equal to five a minus seventeen. So let us get seventeen to the other side. So seventeen minus two is equal to five a. So seventeen minus two is how much? Fifteen. Correct. Fifteen is equal to five a. Fifteen by five is equal to a. Five ones are five threes are three is equal to a. Understood. everybody got the answer right okay very good now let us move further let me just draw a line here so we can start the next question okay uh, i shall send you few more questions today to solve as homework you'll have to solve that and uh, send me the answer okay so we will solve one more problem yeah this one let us solve this solve 5x plus 4y is equal to 2x plus 3y plus 4 is equal to x plus y plus 7 <clears throat> okay so this is the question now you are supposed to solve this simultaneously okay however you solve you have to get x value and y value so first what we will do we are going to consider the expression that is first expression 
and the second expression and we will solve it okay and then again we'll consider first expression and third expression and we will solve that okay so first we will consider expression 1 and expression 2 so consider 5x plus 4y is equal to 2x plus 3y plus 4 fine so now let us get all the x and y to one side and we'll keep constant to the other side fine so what will happen 5x sorry 5x plus 4y i'm getting 2x to the other side so minus 2x 3y also will come to the other side so minus 3y now if you see towards your left hand side you only have x and y here is equal to 4 i will leave the constant to the other side did you all understand this step are you all able to follow yes okay now in the next step let us simplify this 5x minus 2x will give you 3x 4x minus 3x i will get i'll get how much plus 1y is equal to 4 i have got one sort of equation 3x plus 1y is equal to 4 this is one form of equation that we'll be getting so let us take this as equation 1 2x plus 2y is equal to 3 sindhu where, where did you get that expression for which one did you get that I didn't understand your answer. You got confused. Okay, no problem. Just uh, consider and solve it properly. Now, did you all understand how to find the first equation? Yes. No. I want some answers. okay now this was expression number 1 and 2 now what we will do is we will consider expression 1 and 3 okay we are going to consider expression 1 and 3 and then we will be able to find the equation number 2 fine so what is expression 2 sorry 1 and 3 now consider 5x plus 4y is equal to x plus y plus 7. Now similarly, find the next expression equation. Correct, Bindu Shri. Very good. 4x plus 3y is equal to 7. Now what we will do is 5x plus 4y. I am going to get x and y to the other side. So it's going to become minus x minus y is equal to 7. So five x minus one x will give me four x, and four x minus one sorry four y minus one y will give me plus three y is equal to seven. So this is going to be your equation two. Now we have equation one and equation two. So let us solve it simultaneously. Okay. So consider. equation 1 and 2 okay and 2 and solve simultaneously
okay so what are the equations equation number 1 is 3x plus 1y is equal to 4 and second equation is 4x plus 3y is equal to 7 now which are the numbers i have to multiply for equation number 1 and equation number 2 which numbers can i multiply 4 and 3 first equation will go by 4 and next equation will go by 3 okay so what are the uh, equations that i will get after multiplication 4 threes are 12x plus 4 ones are 4y is equal to 4 fours are 16 then again equation number 2 4 threes are 12x plus 3 threes are 9y is equal to 7 threes are 21 okay now we are supposed to subtract the equation so change the signs everywhere and plus 12x and minus 12x will get cancelled now once it get cancelled what is remaining plus 4y minus 9y i'll have minus 5y is equal to minus 5 so y is equal to minus 5 by minus 5 therefore y is equal to 1 everybody got y is equal to 1 it is not minus 1 because you have minus and minus you can cancel both the minus also bindu so y will become plus 1 fine now let us substitute this y is equal to 1 in any equation now substituting y is equal to 1 in equation 1 what is equation 1 3x plus 1y is equal to 4 so 3x plus 1 into 1 is equal to 4 so 3x plus 1 is equal to 4 so 3x is equal to 4 minus 1 3x is equal to 3 so what will happen x is equal to 3 by 3 x is equal to 1 so we found x also to be 1 and y also to be 1 therefore x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 clear understood everyone any doubts in this problem understood good now let us solve one more problem which is similar to this okay and then we can go to the next type of problem Wait a second. Okay. So the next problem is solve x plus y minus six by four is equal to x plus two y minus eight by six is equal to x okay this is 6x plus y by 20 now here previously you had direct expression now here you have fractions also being included so first you will have to take equation sorry expression 1 and 2 and simplify later we will take 1 and 3 and simplify okay so now first consider 1 and 2 so consider x 
plus y minus 6 by 4 is equal to x plus 2y minus 8 by 6. Okay. So here if you observe, we can do the cross multiplication. Yes. So if we do the cross multiplication, we will be able to take 6 to the other side. So 6 into x plus y minus 6 is equal to 4 to the other side. So 4 into x plus 2y minus 8. Okay. So this is the expression that you get. Now multiply that 6. 6 into x is 6x plus 6 into y is 6y. 6 x are 12, so minus, uh, sorry, 6 x are 36, so minus 36 is equal to 4 into x is 4x, 4 2s are 8y, 4 8s are 32. Okay, so okay, Sindhu has given me equation number 1. So what is equation number 1? 8x plus 16y is equal to 120. No, Sindhu, there's some change. Please check. The coefficients are not correct. Okay, do check. Okay, let us simplify. By then, let us simplify this value. We will take all the xy to one side and we will keep the constants to the other side. Okay, so what do you have here? You have 6x plus 6y. I am getting that 4x and 8y to the other side. So minus 4x minus 8y is equal to, I will take 36 to the other side. So 36 minus 32. Okay. Now 6x minus 4x. How much do you get? 2x. Correct? Then. 6y minus 8y. How much do you get? Minus 2y. 6 minus 8 is minus 2. Right? So minus 2y. Is equal to 36 minus, uh, 36 minus 32 is 4. So 2x minus 2y is equal to 4. This is going to be your equation. 1. Understood? Sindhu, recheck the values plus and minus you might have got confused. Okay? So this is equation number 1. Any doubts until here? Did you all understand? Everybody is able to follow? Yes or no? I want everyone to answer quickly. Okay. Now, moving on further, we will have to consider expression 1 and expression 3. So, we considered expression see here, we considered expression 1 and expression 2 and we got first equation. Now, let us consider expression 1 and expression 3 so that we will get the next answer. Okay. So, consider x plus y minus 6 by 4 is equal to 6x plus y by 20. Okay. Now, here again, I can do the cross multiplication. So, what will I get? 20 will go up. So, 20, 20 into x plus y minus 6 is equal to 4 will go to the other side. 4 into 6x plus y. Okay. Now, multiply. 20 into x is 
twenty x plus twenty into y is twenty y. Twenty into six will be minus one twenty is equal to on the other side six four is a twenty four x plus four y. Okay. Now let us simplify this x and y on to one side and Yeah, Bindu. Now uh, again minus four x plus six y. No, no, no. Just there's there's still some confusion. Do it slowly. There's no hurry. Do it slowly, and then send me the answer. Okay. Now twenty x plus twenty y. I'm gonna get this x and y to the other side. Minus twenty four x minus four y. Is equal to one twenty. I've got one twenty to the other side. Okay, yeah, sixteen y. Okay, now twenty x minus twenty four x will give me minus four x. Okay, this is correct. Twenty minus twenty four will give me minus four x. Twenty minus four y. Twenty y minus four y will give me how much? Plus Sixteen y y plus sixteen y twenty is plus okay is equal to one twenty. So this is the next equation that I have got. This is gonna be equation two. Now did you all get the same type of equation? Minus four x plus sixteen y is equal to one twenty. Yes. Any doubts? Okay. Now solve these two equations simultaneously and send me the answer. What is the value of x and y? Quickly. Solve equation one and two. Simultaneously, solve these two equations simultaneously and send me the answer for x as well as y. Two x minus two y is equal to four minus four x plus sixteen y is equal to one twenty. So I'm going to multiply two here. And one here. You need not do two and four, Bindu, because see, if you see the first equation, you require four x, right? So two into two x, you will get four x. But if you see the next equation, there is already minus four x, where you can cancel it. So the second equation, just multiply it with one. That is enough. You need not always cross multiply the numbers. Okay, so what is the equation that I would get? Two, sorry, four x, four x minus four y is equal to four two is a eight. Then here minus four x plus sixteen y is equal to one twenty. Okay, you need not change the sign. Plus four x, so minus four x will get cancelled, okay? And then what is remaining? Minus four plus sixteen is twelve y is equal to eight plus one twenty is one twenty eight. So y is equal to one twenty eight by twelve. So if you are getting points here, you can just do uh, simplify the number, something like this, two. Sixza twelve, two sixza twelve, two fourza eight, two threeza six, two threeza six, two twoza. So what is the simplified answer? Y is equal to thirty-two by three. Understood? 
y is equal to 32 by 3. Yes or no? Next, substitute y is equal to 32 by 3 in equation 1. What is equation 1? 2x minus 2y is equal to 4. So, what is 2x minus 2 into y is 32 by 3? is equal to 4. Firstly, are you able to follow? Yes? I don't see anybody replying. 2x minus 2 into 32 by 3. So, what do you get? 64 by 3 is equal to 4. So, 2x is equal to 4 plus 64 by 3. I have to take LCM here. So, once I take LCM here, I am going to get 2x will remain. 3 will be the LCM. So, 4 3s are 12 plus 64. So, 2x into 3, I am taking 3 to the other side, is equal to 12 plus 64. So, 2x into 3 is 6x is equal to 12 plus 64 is how much? 76. Okay. So, okay. So, x is equal to 76 by 6. So, 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 3 is a 6, 1, 2, 9, 2, 8 is a 16, right? 9 is a 18. So, therefore, x is equal to 38 by 3. Understood? What is the value of x as well as y? So, if you, they might ask problem like this for 6 marks. So, since you have this long procedure,